who knows Jesus, loves Jesus, and says they're my Lord and my God and my Savior, you know, I'm putting a challenge out to you. Before you even go to a fast food restaurant to get something to eat, when you can even eat something like a quick sandwich at home or something like that, you take that. It takes about $7 now for a meal for one individual. If you're going with the whole family, I know you're spending 20 at least. Couldn't you say, hey, you know, why don't we just give this money so others have something to eat? The next time that you think about bon- like makeup, getting your nails done, getting tattoos, buying some new pair of shoes, buying some more clothing, when you know your closet at home is so crammed full, you don't even have room to put that clothing in there mm. or the shoes in there. Can't you take, and this is what really gets me, there are people out there spending on a purse three, four, five hundred dollars <laughs> I don't know if you're Christian or not, but there's a person who needs some food. There's a person who needs something over their head to protect them from the cold or the elements of the weather. We are failing each other big time. And as the Father in Heaven's watching down and looking at all of this, you know, you know who's going saving? It's God. Do you know who's going to do the condemning and judging? It'll be done on the last day. It'll be Jesus. And he's going to be looking at your heart. And he's the thing. And he's going to be realizing that maybe you didn't realize you, you know, I thank God he says, Father, forgive them because they don't know. But there's too much media. You can't say that. I didn't know. You do know what's going on out there. You do know how many people. It's time to die to your selfish ways so that others may live. And as far as your learned Christian, no Christian, to save all the souls out there you can by telling them about Jesus or judging them and tell them you got to change your ways. I have something I'm going to tell you about. It's a story. The Lord God had a conversation with someone like you one day, a Christian person. And he brought it to the Christian's attention that there are over 6,000, close to 7,000 cultures and languages in my world. And there are over 7 billion people and counting in my world. Now, Christian, only two billion of these proclaim to believe in my son, Jesus Christ, who you say that if they they must believe in my son, Jesus Christ, if they're to have eternal life. But some of these people, uh, you know, of that seven billion, all the rest of these have not even heard of him. Uh, They were raised by parents who taught them other beliefs. So Christian, of the 9,500,000 people who died last year, where am I to send the men, the women, the children who do not know or believe in my son for all eternity? Christian, you decide. Well, the Christian stood and looked at the sea of faces before him, and he saw with his heart, her heart, and said to the Lord God, You are a God of endless mercy, compassion, and love, Father. And you know the hearts of all. So you do unto them as your son Jesus would tell you to do. And the father turned to the Christian and said, My son has taught you well. You have chosen wisely. For as you have judged them, you can now be judged Enter into my kingdom, good and faithful servant. Blessed indeed are those who hear my words and keep my words. Enter into my kingdom. Do not be mistaken. The kingdom of God is now. The moment of your salvation is now. The kingdom of God is at hand. It's not going to enter into you after you die. 
the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. And all, all these things, the key is love. Johnny, can you still have it pulled up? Read again what love is. Let me, let me grab that for you. It's, okay. It's, it's, and remember, Christians, if you're going to be a brother and a sister in the family of God, you cannot be selfish. Think more about yourself than you do the fact that somebody out there has nothing when you have everything. Yeah. Yeah. Think yeah. about that. And that's my ice bucket challenge to the world. <laughs> it's yeah. a love them challenge so that God can say, enter into my kingdom, good and faithful servant. Yeah. Love them. All right, you got it? Love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And love, no greater love has anyone than those who would lay down their life for another. I'm not talking about saying, I'll take the bullet for you. Mm. But I know most of us would if we had to, to protect our ones. I'm talking about laying down our opinions, our selfishness, our pride, our emotions, how dare you do that to me? I'll never forgive you. No, you got to lay that down. If we're going to be family, we have to live the way the Father said to live. Do the will of the Father. And that starts at home. It starts in your workplace. Mm. Uh, just uh, so, so very important. Because times are going to get tougher. And see, there's a problem. United States of America, unless we have something like the Boston bombing or the 911 day or the earthquakes or the hurricanes and stuff like that, in our everyday life, we get complacent. Do you know something happened to me? It's the, uh, Tuesday, I went to work Tuesday. And it was starting to rain. We had a lot of wet stuff coming down in the last three days. And it was starting to rain as I left work, and I start left for work, and I was driving on the freeway. And then as I got about 15 miles down the road, it was white rain. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. A truck passed me. I'm doing 70 because I had my uh, uh, cruise on. And a, tr and a vehicle passed me, van, whatever. And... Um, I, all of a sudden, I noticed right after they passed me, oh, my gosh, they're losing control. Their vehicle started to do that swiveling. I immediately, not fast, but slow braked because I, you never hit the brakes hard. Yeah. You never. <laughs> not, yeah. not on the ice, not no. on the rain, what it was get. So I just backed off real fast and uh, was watching it. And they're about a car length and a half in front of me, and their car whips around back in. And the car completely go or the vehicle in front of my car and off into the ditch on the other side. Just wow. that quick. Five seconds. Yeah. I could have been killed. They could have been killed. And this is happening all the time. Somewhere, someplace in the world. In the blink of an eye, you're out of here. Yeah. Something's happening. Um, somebody that was saying the other day, woman was at home, I think. House burnt down. She lost everything. Mm. And this can, you know, everybody can experience this. This could be you. But we're not seeing in front of our life, most of us are not, this instant, uh, a gun pulled on me. Somebody's robbing me. Somebody's uh, assaulting me. And we're not seeing it because we're just having our same old, same old life going on. A little bored, maybe. Little, I know, it's, here comes that rain again, here comes the snow again. I sure wish it'd be spring. Instead of, oh yeah, the will of the Father, that was another one. Rejoice always. In all things give thanks. Mm. 
mm. and pray without ceasing, for this is the will of the Father for you. It's either 1 Thessalonians 4 or Philippians 4, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> it is there. Um, yes, rejoice always. So you who are out there, I challenge you to love, to lay down your selfishness, your selfish behavior, think of others, to rejoice, to pray, and to see with eyes of gratitude and have that the be attitudes in your heart. Be attitudes. We we talked about get ready for that going out song, Johnny, the one yeah. about here I am. Last week we talked about how God is everywhere. He's in the air, he's in the elements. He is ever present and he's ever present with you right now. Whatever you believe, whoever you believe that God is, he's there. Mm. And everybody has their own different belief about who God is, who the supreme being is. 34,000 different beliefs of the cult and the denominations of Christian denominations. And I don't know how many other uh, beliefs there are out there, but we all pretty basically have the same belief of God, and we have the belief that this is why... Just listen to this song and realize that right now, the Father, the Supreme Being, is right there. Here I am. Hmm. Until next week, it's me, God, talking to you. Hope you're listening. Did you find it, John? Yeah, I got you. Thank you so okay. much. Bye-bye, Elizabeth. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.